physical education. What is it for? Health and physical education helps us to understand who we are, how to be healthy, safe and active, and how our actions can influence our communities. Many people think health and physical education is about learning to play different sports and knowing how to be healthy, but that's not the whole story. So what is health and physical education for? HPE helps us build a toolkit of strategies we can use to make healthy, active and safe choices. It helps us understand all of the things that influence the choices that we make. These choices include the friends we make, the physical activities we engage in, the risk we take and the health products and services we select. As well as this, HPE helps develop the skills and strategies needed to participate in a range of different physical activities, both now and when we grow older. When we look at the Australian Curriculum for Health and Physical Education, we see that there are two interweaving strands, personal, social and community health, and movement and physical activity. There are also five interconnected propositions that underpin and inform the curriculum strengths-based approach, educative purpose, value movement, critical inquiry, and health literacy. These are the essence of health and physical education. The propositions are woven together through the content in a way that brings life to student learning and makes what is happening in health and physical education relevant and meaningful to the everyday lives of students and their communities. So, keeping this in mind, Let's think about a South Australian student. Let's call her Emily. How does Emily's teacher interweave the propositions through the content so that Emily learns how to lead a healthy, safe and active life? We are not only interested in Emily knowing about what is and isn't healthy or safe. We want Emily to be healthy, make safe choices and enjoy being physically active. We want Emily to understand there are many different factors that influence the choices she makes and that there will be situations when she will need to consider the risks involved when making decisions. We also wanted to be able to interpret and assess health information from a range of sources and take this knowledge into her everyday life so that she can make informed choices to maximise her own health and well-being and help others to improve their health as well. We also want Emily to be able to think critically about the messages in the media about body image, identities and stereotypes about age, gender, sexuality, culture, race, disability, and to know and confidently dismiss and push back against these. In movement lessons, we want Emily to develop movement skills that enable her to participate in a range of physical activities and to be able to transfer these skills from one activity to another. Emily needs to continually be given opportunities from a very young age to practice fundamental movement skills, such as throwing, catching, kicking, jumping and skipping, so that she is confident to use them in recreational and game situations. The earlier Emily gains mastery of these skills, the more self-assured she'll be in all types of physical activity across her lifetime. The learning experience in health and physical education will also support Emily to develop a positive mindset and understand and nurture the mind-body connection. Emily will also learn other important skills in health and physical education lessons, such as how to solve problems, be creative, and work in a team by playing fairly and managing conflict. Emily will also learn about the range of roles required in order for different physical activities to be possible when we catch up with Emily in a few years' time, we will see that she is using what she learnt in health and physical education every day. She feels in control of her own health. She's making informed decisions about her health and well-being, but she is also able to provide support to enhance the health and well-being of friends, family and her wider community. Emily enjoys physical activity and she understands that being active is essential to staying healthy and improving her well-being. By interweaving the two strands and five propositions in health and physical education, 
Emily and her classmates can learn the understandings and skills they need to make healthy, safe and active decisions throughout their lives. Thank you.